Good evening. Uh, Judy and Grace and I were on Capitol Hill earlier today, so let me first say how thrilled we are to now be in front of normal, rational, kind people. So thank you for being here. And thank you, Sandy Chow, for inviting me to speak and for your generous support. And Nelson, for uh, all your great work. And also to Christine, uh, who I've known since the 1990s. Uh, we first uh, met at uh, Organization Chinese American uh, events. I also see uh, two great friends of mine, uh, Haipei and CC, in the audience. And thank you for all your support of their community. I want to um, also thank all of you for being here. You all could be doing other things like watching crazy rich Asians again. Uh, but you're here listening to us. And you're here because you all believe in the bottom of your hearts that a government that looks more like the people represents is a stronger, better government. And so I've got some good news and some bad news. I'm going to start out with the bad news first. And the bad news is Asian Americans are still underrepresented at all levels in American society. You may have been watching the Supreme Court uh, nomination hearings this week. There are no Asian Americans on the U.S. Supreme Court. There was not even an Asian American seriously considered to be on the Supreme Court. And this has happened both in Republican and Democratic administrations. So clearly, we are not there yet. Uh, we uh, are underrepresented in numerous leadership positions, still underrepresented in Congress. Uh, but that's changing through the leadership of Judy Chu. Uh, she has done amazing work as chair of the API caucus. We're at historic highs, as well as uh, with Grace Meng, her leadership of Aspire PAC. And we're trying to get more Asian Americans elected to Congress. And hopefully you understand your vote matters. And if you think your vote doesn't matter, look at what just happened on Tuesday in Massachusetts. Uh, we had an, a candidate who happens to be Asian American, Daniel Cole. He's in second place right now by 52 votes. So voting does matter. Uh, in terms of uh, the executive branch, in terms of the legislative branch, uh, you also see a huge underrepresentation among Asian Americans. So if any of you uh, know of anyone who uh, is qualified, let uh, me or Judy or Grace or other members in the API caucus know, and we will help folks with appointments. Uh, regardless of administration, we still want good people in these administrations, so, so please let us know. Uh, but the good news is things are changing. Uh, the U.S. Census reported last decade, API is the fastest rising ethnic group in America. A Pew Research report uh, came out last year saying that by 2050, there will be more Asian Americans I'm sorry, by 2050, there will be more immigrants from the Asia Pacific region than any other region uh, in the world. And if you look at a Washington Post article uh, earlier this year, uh, they said something interesting. They said, if every single xenophobic anti-immigrant policy of the Trump administration was implemented, it would only slow down demographic change by about five years. Uh, so the one thing that this president cannot change, that nobody can change, is that with every passing day, the rest of America looks more like California and New York. And it's an exciting time uh, for this community. And as we get more and more people registered to vote, uh, that'll make a big difference. Uh, it's, it's fascinating, by the way, uh, when I first became elected official and I sort of looked at campaigns, essentially people who are not registered are completely ignored. They don't get any mailers. They don't get any phone calls. Elected officials ignore people who are not registered to vote. And so as a result, what ends up happening in democracy is people who are registered to vote and then communities that vote have a massive outsized influence uh, on how government works. And to the extent we can get uh, more APIs registered to vote, that will make a huge difference. And uh, thank you for doing that. And I urge you this November, if you oppose uh, the xenophobic anti-immigrant policies of this administration, if you don't want family-based immigration stripped away, if you don't like the race baiting that you're seeing uh, uh, in America, then please vote and get 20 of your friends and family members to vote. And that could make all the difference. Uh, so with that, look forward to working with with all of you, and thank you again for having me here. Thank you.